and congratulations uh, on the big win. You had endorsements you. Uh, through your position as county executive there in a county, by the way, that's bigger than some states in population. Uh, but you also were outspent so massively and still were able to pull this off. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, it, it's, um, it's a wonderful feeling. It really is. It's been a wonderful day. What do you expect to be the, the most important issue uh, between you and Larry Hogan in this campaign? Well, you know, there are many policy issues. I think the issue of choice um, is the one that I hear most about. You know, I have an 18-year-old daughter, and like so many, I am so concerned about her right to privacy and freedom, uh, the right to make her own decisions about her body. And this is an issue that is, by the way, not only important uh, to so many women, but this is also important to men, fathers and grandfathers, who want their daughters to have more rights than their mothers and grandmothers and not fewer. So this is one of the issues that I believe is going to be a seminal issue um, in this election, although there are many others. It's the Supreme Court is an issue as well, who we would appoint there. Sensible gun legislation, uh, economic opportunity and what that looks like. Um, so there are many, many issues, but I believe these policy differences um, will be really the issues that divide us. And I think ultimately Marylanders are want to keep the Senate blue. And uh, Larry Hogan, who has had his differences publicly with Donald Trump from time to time, if he's in the Senate as a Republican senator, he would be doing everything that that majority Republican Senate could do to support Donald Trump. Yeah, I think this is absolutely right. I mean, we saw that Mitch McConnell was the person who invited Larry Hogan into this race, saying that it was the get of the year. Uh, we also know that, that Larry Hogan would be voting with this caucus. In fact, uh, he has already shown himself to be a person who does not support choice, um, a person who vetoed important legislation that would have expanded abortion care uh, in the state. And we know that he will be voting with, with, with this caucus, with the Republican caucus, which, by the way, in a party that is led by Donald Trump. Well, you are now targeted by Republicans because they have high hopes of winning that seat in Maryland so that they can get the majority in the Senate. Yeah, well, you know what? This is um, a state that I have built a very strong uh, grassroots coalition across the state. Uh, I've enjoyed talking to voters where they are all across the state, um, talking not only about my own record, but talking about a positive vision for our state. And I'm finding that the issues that tie us, the ones around economic opportunity, growing jobs and income, safe communities where people can feel safe and actually be safe in their communities, Again, the issue of choice and, and so many other issues are resonating with Marylanders. Uh, and ultimately, I believe that the policy uh, positions that I have taken and the ones that are consistent with the Democratic Party are also consistent with the values of Marylanders. And they are going to uh, vote, I know, to keep Maryland blue and to keep the Democratic Party in the majority in the Senate.